Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see how to use three phase fault plug in MATLAB. So, this is a three phase fault assembling block in MATLAB. So, here, so what's the use of this block is to create the fault in the power system, right? In three phase power system. So, you can use this three phase fault assembling block. And here you will see that right when you double click this block right three phase fault block right that means this block is available in a, sim, a specialized power system and then you go to fundamental blocks and then you can see the elements right so once you click these elements you will see this three phase fault block okay just to double click this one so here you will see that option for a uh, uh, creating fault uh, like uh, uh, triple end fault uh, triple end ground fault double end fault, single end ground fault or uh, double end ground fault okay and also here you will see that uh, uh, initial state right status right so initial status will be zero okay that means uh, initial status is zero in the sense the fault is not created in the system during initial condition and then here you will see that option for uh, switching timing so when we are going to create that fault right uh, for testing the power system right so here you can fix the starting time and ending time of the fault okay and here you will see that you can select the uh, different options different faults by uh, clicking this options light uh, just you have to click phase a phase b phase c or load right so just you click this combination and then you can create a single end ground fault, double end ground fault, double end fault and a double end ground fault as well as double end ground fault okay and also here you will see that this is the data you have to provide fault resistance and the ground resistance so this data can be taken from the standard data that means for testing some standard uh, buses you then I can take the detail from the standard details okay so next so these are the options there in the uh, three phase fault block in matlab so how we can view this one you can see that now so for that i'm going to use uh, uh, three phase source so here i'm going to use electrical source so here i'm going to use three phase source here and i'm going to use default value 25 kilo volt uh, 60 hertz right so if you want you can change it according with your uh, requirement right so i am not uh, changing anything in this uh, source detail so i am going to use as it is okay and then uh, i am going to connect another source also that means like two sources connected uh, parallelly okay so here i am going to rotate this block that means i am going to uh, up and down the block so here I'm going to connect phase B to A, B to B, and C to C. And before that, I'm going to use some elements uh, that means some resistance, small resistance in between two sources, right? Sometimes it will be create some problem, right? So far, that means uh, if connecting two sources uh, parallelly, sometimes it will be create some problem. So. Uh, before connecting this one right so I, I, I'm going to test the model first so here I'm connected the fault here in between these two sources um, before simulating this model right so we need a power GI block right just to connect power GI here right I'm just I'm going to uh, run the model for 0.4 seconds okay just I'm going to simulate this, this one we have to check the detail whether we are seeing any error here you can you can see that there is no error in the model so next i'm going to check the that mean both sources are connected in parallel as well as fault is created here so i need to check the uh, voltage and current during uh, normal condition as well as uh, during fault condition so so here i'm going to connect some voltage measurement block so here i'm going to connect three phase voltage measurement block in this point okay so here i'm going to see the the voltage of the 
phase A, B, C and then current through that line phase that means line A, B okay during the fault condition so here I am going to connect scope to see the, the detail of voltage and current so here I am going to measure to quantity known as voltage and current so first one is voltage second one is current so this is voltage and this is current and then I am going to create the fault during the time between so total time time is 0 0.4 0 0.4 seconds so I am going to create fault 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 so now I am going to see the results so the fault we created now is uh, triple line to ground fault ok so you have to check the detail now so now you can see that uh, this is a voltage right fault to voltage and then this is a fault current ok so four lines are uh, grounded right the voltage will be is equal to zero ok do you do that here you will see that the current right current is comes around 4 and uh, 4000 amps right the voltage goes to zero now ok because of a triple end ground fault so now I am going to create a double end ground fault and then I am going to check the result so now you can see that um, the two line voltage will be goes to zero the remaining line having the voltage ok because one line is grounded so voltage is uh, goes to zero and then here because of du uh, double line to ground fault right the one line having current will be zero the remaining line, line having that uh, current right with the uh, right and yeah, that main current around uh, 4000 amps right this is a fault current right so next I am going to test the model with the single line to ground fault So now you can see that one line having volt that one line voltage having zero right the re remaining will be having voltage but here you will see that right the fault current right is increases in the uh, that line fault uh, faulted line so you can see the current will be goes to maximum 4000 amps okay so this is a result of a single end ground fault so next thing i'm going to test the model with the double uh, double line fault so that will uh, fault created between two lines okay so because of that fault created in the two lines here you will see that right so this is a result of a voltage and uh, some that mean uh, the faulted uh, line right both are having lowest voltage okay the unfaulted line will be having the voltage right at rated right and then here you will see that the fault uh, unfaulted condition right and that my unfaulted line will be having minimum that mean rated current but faulted line having the current around 4000 amps because of the fault okay so this uh, uh, working out this uh, three phase uh, fault block in the MATLAB okay so you can use this uh, block for it testing the power system uh, analyze the fault okay so that's all about this video thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye